Today I'm going to show you guys how to put a wire on the back of the canvas. This is a gallery wrapped canvas, so it's going to be more of a contemporary look. If you guys notice, it's a lot wider um, than a, a normal canvas that you would see that's put into a frame. I'm not going to use a frame on this one, it's going to make it more contemporary. Some of the tools that I'm going to use for this, I'm sure most of you guys have this at home. I'm just going to hammer pair of uh, wire cutters. I've got an awl, screwdriver, and uh, I've got a pair of pliers. You guys, if you don't have the little piece that I'm going to show you how to put on there, you won't need the pliers. You'll just need these other items. So. Okay, so next I'll show you guys. I've um, got some wires and just some regular picture hanging wire. Got a D ring. Got a screw, and I've got this extra little piece that I'm going to put on to help keep the wire from poking into you guys. So I'll show you uh, how that all goes on. So on this, I've gone about a third of the way down, right here, um, from the top of the canvas. So I'm going to make a uh, impression on each side with this all. One more. Okay. And I'm going to turn it. This is before painting it because I don't want to tear up the piece on the front. This is just regular canvas that I'm, I've already drawn a picture on. Okay. You can see that um, I put it right in the middle. You don't want to go too far to the edges of the wood. You crack the wood once you start inserting the screw into it. So I'm just going to take a D ring first, right? And I'm going to put a screw into it. I'm going to screw it in. You can order the picture wire online. It's super easy. Um, you don't really have to go to any special stores. You can go to a store uh, like a craft store or whatnot that, that carries the supplies. I'm choosing to order it at home. I'm going to do the next one. Put it back in my hole. I'm going to run the wire through. So I've looped it through just to keep it from unraveling. So I'm going to undo it just a bit. You want to go all the way across, but you want to have enough so that you can actually wrap the wire around itself. So I'm going to unravel it a little bit more. Okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Because if you did it not enough, you're just going to have to start over. Here's how to put the wire through. I'm going to go through one side. I'm going to pull it through. Okay. I'm going to measure it up just a little bit, not very far. I'm going to go under. I'm going to go back through. I want it to be on the other side of that wire. I'm trying to do it, you guys can see it. Okay. And then make it kind of tight. Then I'm going to wrap it around. You just want it to go far enough that it's not going to slip off with the D ring. So that's probably that's probably enough. I'm going to straighten this back out because I'm going to add that other little piece back on. So here's the opposite end of the wire. 
I'm trying to get a little closer where you guys can see. Okay, push this through. And slide it down. Here it comes. So I want this other wire to be in this as well. And poke it through. The reason I'm doing this is so that when I cut it, uh, this piece helps it stay in place. You don't have to have this one. If it didn't come with your uh, hanging kit, you can use tape. Um, it's mainly to keep these little sharp ends uh, on the wire from hitting you. So I'm going to get a pair of pliers real quick. And I'm just going to squish pretty good so that it doesn't come back off. And Aha, that piece is gone. Alright, so you guys can see that is on there nice and tight. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to lift it, try not to just spin it around. Alright, there's the second side. I'm going to pull this through again, but before I do that, uh, I need one more of these little guys to put on the end. So put this on before you tie the second side. But if you don't, it's okay. Just use a piece of tape. It's no big deal. It's just to keep you from sticking yourself, mainly. So, because as you can see, look at all the little pieces. Those can go right in your finger, which is not great. I'm going to lift this up a little tiny bit as I go. Um, the wire. Because I don't want it to be so tight that I can't get my hand behind it to hang it. But I also don't want it to be so loose that it's uh, kind of hanging off the wall funny. So now that I've got the way that I want it to look, I go around, go under. Oops. Oh, let me try that one more time. I missed. So go back through this right here. See on that other side? Pull it. Okay. Then I'm going to twist it. Try it a little closer so you can see. I think I'm enough. I'm going to get that piece and slide it back down so I can poke this wire through. Give me one second. Alright, so both wires are now through the little piece. I'm going to crush it one more time. Make sure you cut the right wire. Okay, that's the whole thing. You guys can see the wire going across. It's on there. It's a third of the way down. Make sure it's in the middle of the wood that you're putting it into. If you don't have a gallery wrapped canvas and you're adding it to a frame, make sure that that screw is not longer than the front of your frame or it'll pop all the way through. So just test it uh, before you put it on. For this demo though, we're, we're just using a gallery wrapped uh, canvas, so it should be fine. Um, and that's it.